I appear to got cut off in our last program, so I believe the Lord probably wanted us to have a part two of this. We we're talking about Jehovah Nasa, the Lord God who forgives. And definitely there is forgiveness in Jesus. And I was looking at the hymn. Um, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein. And, and I was talking about this hymn. But, um, and I, I, there's more words to be said about this hymn. Let me read the whole hymn. Um, it starts with, There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins, and sinners plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains. Lose all their guilty stains. Lose all their guilty stains. And sinners bl- um, plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains. The dying thief rejoiced to see that fountain in his day and there may I, though vow as he, wash all my sins away, wash all my sins away, wash all my sins away. And there may I, though vow as he, wash all my sins away. Dear dying lamb, thy precious blood shall never lose his power till all the ransomed ones of God be saved to sin no more, be saved to sin no more, be saved to sin no more, till all the ransomed ones of God be saved to sin no more. Ever since by faith I saw the stream, thy flowing wounds supply, redeeming love has been thy theme, and shall be till I die, and shall be till I die, and shall be till I die. Redeeming love has been thy theme, and shall be till I die. When this poor, lisping, stammering tongue lies silent in the grave, then in a nobler, sweet song, I'll sing thy power to save. I'll sing thy power to save. I'll sing thy power to save. Then in a nobler, sweeter song, I'll sing thy power to save. Oh, this is a beautiful hymn, brothers and sisters. It speaks of redemption. All these old hymns are the best hymns. I don't care what people say. There's lots of people that likes the modern hymns, the modern songs. Those modern songs, many of them, not all of them. I, I love some modern hymns, some modern songs. Some of them, they're biblical. They're, their foundation is biblical. But not all of them. <clears throat> I can't sit down and, with all due respect... Listen to a rap, unless there's some biblical foundations in the world, in the in in, in the words that are being said. Many of the raps, many of the of of the hard rock, Christian music, uh, uh, Christian rock, many of them don't have biblical words. They might have the words Jesus, and then the the whole hymn has nothing to do with the Bible. They may have something that said blood. You have to listen very clearly. I, I'm one who sits down. I just don't listen to the beat, brothers. I listen to the words. And guess what? The old hymns, their foundation was the word of God. That's why they're so powerful. Because there's doctrine involving them. And they speak of redemption. They speak of the word of God. They speak of experience with God's word that never changes. That is like a stream that, that could change anyone's life, that could, that could redeem the worst of sinners. Brothers and sisters, I'm one of the worst of sinners. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like Paul. Sometimes I feel like Paul and I say to myself, man, I'm a bad sinner. But then when I listen to those old time hymns or, or read Bible verses that has to do with my forgiveness, my redemption. Oh, man, it feels so good. It feels so good to know that there is redemption in Jesus' blood. Oh, that, 
that, that God could forgive. God could redeem even a terrible sinner like you and me, brothers and sisters. Oh, he is the God who still forgives. The God, the Lord God who forgives. He is the Lord God who forgives. That Lord God, we need him in our lives. Oh, we need him. Yahweh Nasa, Jesus Christ, the Lord God who forgives. And I want to play a hymn now. And then we'll continue speaking about the Lord God who forgives. Yahweh Nasa. Didn't finish speaking about him in the last program. Needed to continue because I got cut off because for somehow I can't play something in the internet with my phone and also record in the same time. I can look up stuff in the internet though and give you some interesting information, but can't play a hymn or a video from from live if I'm using the same phone. I think it just gets cut off because of. And because I think I have a filter in my in my phone too, so it maybe it's all those things combined. So let's let's play a hymn. Let's play this one. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. Very deeply stained. Sinking to rise no more But the master of the sea Heard my despairing cry From the waters lifted me Now safe am I Love lifted me Love lifted me When Jesus completely saves He will lift you by His love Out of the angry way He's the master of the sea Billows His will obey Your Savior wants to be Be saved today Love lifted me. Hallelujah. Let's look at some verses in the New Testament about forgiveness. The last program, we, we read some verses in the Old Testament about forgiveness, about our forgiveness in God. And there were some more that I could have read. Uh, I just shows that, that number of them. But there are, there are lots of words, verses of forgiveness in God. God is an awesome God. Matthew one twenty one says, You shall call his name Jesus, 
for he will save his people from their sins. Ephesians 4.32 says, And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, even as God also in Christ Jesus forgave you. Colossians 3.13, Forbearing one another, forgiving each other. If any man have a complaint against any, even as the Lord forgave you, so also do ye. Notice that these verses where it says, as God forgave you, forgive others. Because God sets us an example. First John 1 verse 7 to 9 says, But if you walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanses us from all sins. <clears throat> if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, to forgive our, us our sins and to cleanse us from our unrighteousness. I just want you to understand something. <clears throat> he cleanses us from all sins. Every sin. There's not one sin that He doesn't cleanse us from us if we repent and confess it to Him. All oh, brothers and sisters, Jesus is so forgiven. We need that redemption. We need that forgiveness of sin in our lives. If you don't know Jesus, I I, I, I implore you to, to get with Jesus, to understand Jesus, to go under his lordship and save you and his, and, and his, his redemption. <clears throat> Jesus is the savior. He, he paid it all. Oh, there's a hymn right here that I have. It says he paid it all. Let's 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 listen to it. He paid it all, not just some. He paid it all.
yesterday when I was doing a program with Brother Samuel. He burst into tears talking about his testimony. Because what Jesus did makes us cry in redeeming us in taking us out of situations we cannot take ourselves brother and when before the throne I stand in him complete Jesus died my soul to save my lips shall still Sin had left a crimson stain He washed it white as snow and That's your testimony too Jesus paid it all All to him I Sin had left a crimson stain If you don't know him, it's time for you to know him. To know his redeeming blood. All his blood that sanctifies, that redeems, that cleanses. All you need to know him. I, I, I challenge you this day to know him. That Jesus could redeem you. Jesus could set you free. Jesus' blood could cleanse you. Oh, but I fall again and again. Oh, his blood is there to continue washing you. Is it? As long as there's life in you, his blood is there to cleanse you, brothers and sisters. Oh, you don't know how many times I had to go to that blood and I just had to cry in tears and say, Lord Jesus, again I defiled myself. Again I went to the pig slime. And then, and me crying to him, and and just saying, "Oh Lord, please, I know that your blood cleanses me. Please help me feel the cleansing." You know, sometimes you can feel the cleansing in you, and he makes you feel clean. He makes you feel, and if you don't feel it at times, because the enemy likes to accuse you. I trust you. Many times you feel that cleansing. You you start thinking, wow, he did that for me. Oh, he went on the cross for me. He shed his blood for me. Without blood, there's no remission of sins, the Bible says, Hebrews 9.22. And yet Jesus did it, brothers and sisters. Jesus' redempting love did it for you and me. He loved you that much. Oh, it was six hours on that cross, on that painful cross. God becoming a man, dying for your sins. If there ever anyone who could save you is Him. Paul used to call himself the chief of sinners. And we could all testify with Paul and say, I am the chief of sinner, Paul. You may call yourself the chief of sinner in your time, but in this time, I'm the chief of sinners. And yet he redeemed me, brothers and sisters. A man who, 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 who was involved in Satanism, a man who did witchcraft to kill people. And Jesus redeemed me. A man who was involved in perversions. A man who sometimes struggles with his thoughts. Yet Jesus redeemed me. If he could redeem me, he could redeem you. If he, if he 
could save a sinner like me. He could save you, brothers and sisters. And he saved people. <clears throat> I've talked to people that were murderers, rapists. And the worst of worst. And now they're serving the Lord because they trusted in Jesus' redemption. They asked forgiveness of their sins and they changed their lives totally. And when the enemy reminds them of that past, they just run to the blood. And they understand, I'm forgiven, past, present, and future. Oh, we need to, we need to cling to that blood. We need, we need to, this blood, you know, like, <clears throat> When Rahab let loose the two the two um, spies, she let them loose through the window, and they went down through a crimson cord, a crimson rope, a red rope. It was crimson, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was crimson. Yeah, it was. It was the color of blood, brothers and sisters. It was a red rope. They they were saved through a red rope going down, and that same rope was used when the wall Jericho fell. Her house stood with the rope. It saved her and her family. Them staying in the house that had the the, the the rope. I don't know what you're going through, brothers and sisters. You may be going through the worst of things. You, you may be in your mind the worst of sinners. But there is someone who can forgive you. Someone who can cleanse you. And that is Yahweh Nasa, who is Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus can cleanse you. Jesus can forgive you. Oh, there is no forgiveness apart from Jesus. I, I, want, I want you to understand this. I want you to understand this. It wasn't a crimson. It was a scarlet. A scarlet cord. I said crimson. But it was a scarlet cord. It was a scarlet cord. That they found redemption in. A scarlet cord. I want you to understand something. There is forgiveness. In the blood of Jesus. There is forgiveness. Um, same word. Scarlet and crimson is the same word in Hebrew. Um, it's it, that that color came from an insect. Um, anyway, I want you to understand something. There is blood. There is blood. There is blood that could cleanse you, that, that could redeem you. And that is the blood of Jesus. Come to that blood where you will have forgiveness of sins. Lord bless you and I'll see you in the next program of Mr. Kakalides and the Bible Podcast. Where we will be talking more about Jesus and the Bible. So long. Bye.